I visited the local library recently and came across a book called The Organic Artist by Nick Nettle, which teaches people how to make their own paint, paper, pigments, and more from nature. I was instantly hooked, so I borrowed the book and decided to make a sketchbook and some ink, starting with materials I could find around the house. I also challenged myself not to look up any instructions online, because I wanted to see if I could figure out a difficult part or any potential problem on my own. For a while, I folded the sheets of paper and forgot about time. When I finished all I needed for the sketchbook, two hours had passed. It was close to dusk, and golden lights filled the room. I was reminded of how soothing it always feels to experience the flow state, where all my sensors, heart and mind, work together. Concentrating on the current activity. And I realized that's one thing I had been missing in the past two years. Two years ago, before I graduated from university, it was easy to follow my curiosities and carry out personal creative projects. The flow came easily, and I was often intrinsically fulfilled and happy. After graduation, though, I became less confident and lost my passion for many hobbies and creative outlets. My daily life was timid and highly sensitive, like a porcupine. But I didn't start the university feeling at ease. I was terrified to receive grades from professors because I grew up in an environment where academic achievements and external validations were everything. Any mistake is bad because it means losing grades on a test. University life was walking on a thin edge. Only later, when I started to embark on the growth mindset, things took a turn. Mistakes weren't longer bad because I stopped letting them define my value. I used mistakes as opportunities to learn. Even after a course project was finished and the professors gave it great, I would still go back to it and analyze what I could learn. I took homework seriously because I thought of all the tasks as a chance to build my skills and portfolio, and so I focused on bringing things. I was passionate about, like photography, into the university projects. I stopped caring about grades, but actual learning, and my grades ended up way higher than before. Remember, in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I decided not to look up any instructions online. Well, soon enough, I got a test on my patience. Although it seemed so smooth, I edited out a lot of clips of me struggling to sew the papers together for the sketchbook. 
The thread was way too long, and I had to start the stitch over two times before I figured out how it actually worked. If I included all the footage in the first place, it would be too redundant, and you probably wouldn't watch the video till now. But I'm certain the struggles made how to do Coptic stitch binding imprinted on my mind. If I had followed an instruction video in the first place, next time I probably wouldn't remember how to make another sketchbook by myself. Learning from hardships towards a goal makes the process much more engaging and enjoyable and the result much more fulfilling. My mistakes also reminded me that my life isn't perfect and my video certainly won't be. So I should let go of perfectionism and not be afraid of being judged by the audience. Because what matters the most is how I live my life and how I share it with you. In the last two years, I've been losing that perspective of growth and passion from university. Oftentimes, when I wanted to do something, I wouldn't even start it, let alone if I encountered a little challenge or mistake. Because things would be perfect if it's never started or finished. Instead of having to face the fear of failure, or a lower than expected result, I could simply say it never happened and keep imagining how perfect it would be if I really tried it. And the result is not truly living my life. I also noticed the coffee ink was too light when I put it down on the paper. At first I was feeling so frustrated and angry at myself for not boiling down the coffee in the first place. What I was really scared of was that I couldn't paint something that you will find beautiful, even if the ink was dark enough. I eventually tried to give it a go and added some marker sketches. If I hadn't done that, I would have been complaining and frustrated. I wouldn't have had a lovely time trying to draw from a photo when Pomelo was a baby and recalling all the memories with him.
I want to stop feeling regretful all the time. I want to stop being afraid of making mistakes. I want to live my life learning and creating again.